modern finance is predicated on the belief that markets and investors are rational. It also is predicated on the belief that investors care about utilitarian characteristics, have perfect self-control, and are not confused by cognitive errors or information processing errors. Modern finance is also predicated on the belief that investors are risk average and are never averse to regret. In other words, modern finance assumes that people never second guess their decisions. Again, we can shoot holes in that. Now let's contrast that with behavioral finance. Behavioral finance assumes investors are normal rather than rational. It also assumes that investors have limits to their self-control. And finally, behavioral finance is predicated on the belief that investors are influenced by biases, which we'll explore in more detail, and that they can also be confused by cognitive errors. Let's explore behavioral finance now in more detail. There's a lot of evidence that shows that not only do stories govern the way we think, but that we will abandon the facts, the evidence, in favor of a good story. That explains in part why many people avoid or are reticent to approach value investing strategies. Because value investing strategies typically involve companies with poor stories. In fact, value investing often involves companies with horrible stories. The companies that we often most admire are the companies that have those good stories. But a company with a good story does not necessarily translate into a good investment. So how do we guard against this bias, this narrative fallacy? The key thing is to take the story and put it to the side and focus on the facts.